Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. So we have another car video episode, I guess, or in vehicle episode, whatever you may want to call it. But I've been hearing for a while now some things that I wanted to, I guess, pretty much give my opinion on and my thoughts on on what I feel, think, and believe would be the reality of that. And what that is on is about if um, something were to break out, if uh, there was a silver, silver, ugh, silver, or can't speak right now, but if there was something like that to occur, um, you know, would what side, I guess, would the military be on? You know, what side would law enforcement be on? What side would agencies that, I guess, have arms, you know, what side would they be on? And something I hear a lot is, oh, well, you know, of course, you know, the military and police and everything would be on um, the, the right side, I guess, the, the correct side, the, the patriot side, I guess, whatever, however terminology you would want to use that for YouTube's wonderful algorithms. And I've heard that a lot, but I believe there is uh, definitely a caveat to that. And I do not believe 100% of the military would be on the correct side. I do not believe 100% of any agency who bears arms would be on the correct side. Uh, a few reasons why. Uh, one of the reasons is that with where we currently are in our political system, our government, our country, our society, all stretches, all, all stretches of all those areas, I personally believe have been infiltrated to some extent with corruption and with individuals who do not have the correct um, allegiance comes allegiance comes to mind, but I don't know if that's the correct word. But basically, does not have the correct intention for the American citizen. Uh, the country, the rule of law, um, they just don't have that. And that affects how the political system, the government, the country operates, works, and well, as we can see, everything's a complete disaster. So what I think is that, and also another reason is Everybody, well not everybody, a lot of people can be turned corrupt, a lot of people can be bought, a lot of people can be uh, intimidated to play a role that maybe they wouldn't play otherwise. Um, a lot of people also may just want to be on the side that they feel is going to win or the side that they believe in, or they just want to be in a power position. And with that, there will definitely be a majority of the military. I don't quite know what the percentage would be. I don't know if it's 50-50, or uh, I don't know if it would be, you know, 80% on the correct side, 20% on the wrong side. I don't know if it would be 40% on the correct side and 60% on the um, wrong side, but you would definitely have individuals from the military, from law enforcement, from other agencies um, who would not stand up and who would choose the side of the wrong, basically choose the wrong side. 
whether that is because of what they think or believe in, or they've been offered money, or they've been offered power, or they've been offered new positions, they could be in control of stuff, I don't know. But the reality of it is that 100% of law enforcement, um, other agencies, uh, the military is not just going to suddenly go, oh yeah, we are definitely going to be on the correct side and um, you know, nobody from the correct side is going to have to worry about dealing with us. That's not true at all. And that's kind of what I get from all the videos I've seen and heard about, oh, well, if there was a civil war breakout, you know, we would have, the, the military would, would choose the correct side, blah, blah, blah. Yes, a portion of them would. I don't know how many. Um, we also don't know how many of them would choose the correct side and what position they hold, you know? It's, we don't know. We do know that, um, we do know that Sorry, I saw something for a second and I thought the uh, camera turned off. But we do know that a portion would be on the correct side, but we also, or I also believe that there would be a portion on the um, wrong side. So at the end of the day, if something like that were to happen um, and a conflict came from that, we would 100% uh, be dealing with um, the, the military, uh, law enforcement, SWAT, um, FBI, ATF. Uh, we would be dealing with with all all the agencies, with everybody. So that's something just to I guess I feel like too much information out there is basically kind of letting everybody know, like, don't worry, um, you know, everybody's going to be on our side if something were to happen. Um, that's what I get from the interpretation of the videos that I've come across and stuff that I've heard. So I wanted to make a video, I guess, um, pointing out more of what I believe the reality of it would be, uh, more of what would really happen, and that's just, there's a lot of factors, I guess, that you would say play into that, there, that's for sure, but if we think everybody in the military is 100% for America, um, we are fooling ourselves. And if we think everybody in the military, especially nowadays, is there and is going to go out and protect the American citizen, uh, we are fooling ourselves. And that goes for every other agency out there. Um, there are definitely plenty of people in the military, in law enforcement, and other agencies who would choose the wrong side or who could easily be bought or intimidated. Um, so that's, those are my thoughts and my reality thinking on if something like that were to happen. Um, I don't believe that everybody would just magically, or the military would just 100% magically be on our side. There, there's just no truth to that. Um, to me, there will, there would definitely be a portion that would be on the correct side. I just don't know what that is. But, anyways, those are my thoughts on that subject that's been out for a little while now with everything going on, and there's still videos coming out on it. Um, but again, just wanted to give uh, my thoughts, my reality view, my point of view, blah, 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 my information on it. So thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. You guys have a good day.